I'm Elizabeth, and I want to tell you about this painting. I didn't video the whole thing, the whole painting of it. It would have taken 50 to 100 hours of video to do the whole thing. So this is not a paint along, but it is a, it, you can see how I did it. And if you want to do something like this, you can. The patron gave me a black and white photograph that was more than 40 years old of her on a float in a Mardi Gras parade in San Antonio. <laughs> and it's of Sin Kill Dancers, S-I-N-G-K-I-L, which are Muslim dancers from the southern Philippines, the island of Mindanao. And it's just uh, amazing costumes and dances. Anyway, she gave me this black and white photograph, told me to paint it in Mardi Gras colors, told me to change her dress to a different dress, and she gave me a picture of the dress she wanted to be wearing in the photograph, I mean, in the painting, and, um, you know, told me to make a big painting. It's, it's uh, 30 by 22. It's all watercolor, except for all the little beads that I added on separately in white and gold, and those are acrylics. So, I'm just gonna give you a little, a little scene of how it goes. This is the original photograph. It's not even eight by 10, it's about six by, I don't know, six by eight maybe, black and white. Now I painted the faces first. And I, there's a method to my bandas there. The reason I painted the faces first is because if I don't get the faces right, then uh, why paint the rest of the painting? So if I had to start over, it would be because I hadn't got the faces right. So the first thing I painted was the faces. Here's all the little dots that are the uh, fake pearls and, and beads that were put on the dresses and the, the man's vest. I painted each one in. It was fun, actually. I, I enjoyed the repetition of it, the um, how it turned out in the end, how it makes the painting look. You can't see the gold that shines on it here. But um, yeah. Oh yeah, the, the patron asked me to put a different headdress on her too. She had a, uh, a rooster headdress made of shiny, I don't know, copper maybe. And it, it was just little tinkling bells and things on it, little pieces of metal tinkled together. It was a, it was a fabulous headdress, so I tried to put that on her. Um, it didn't come out as bright as I wished, lost in all the other colors of the painting. But <laughs> there it is. Oops, cat stepped on palette, left evidence on floor. This certainly was the most elaborate painting I think I ever tried. The most complex uh, elements in it and little details. 
Anyway, I had a great time doing it. The patron loved it and she paid me well. Don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.